Chris Devin. Right now I'm joined by Paul Dion, who's a real estate tax expert and CPA. Now, Paul, when it comes to a real estate agent setting up their own business, what entity should they be operating under? Okay, probably the most important thing is that the mistake that most make is they do nothing, which means they're a sole proprietor. And as a sole proprietor, they have the highest risk and the least tax efficient situation available. At the very minimum, they should be talking to an attorney as to whether they should be incorporated or an LLC. And I defer to the attorneys what structure that comes to play with. I have the ability as an accountant to have them be taxed in a particular way with the IRS regardless of the entity they select. My preference is if an agent is making a sufficient income to make them an S corporation, to have them taxed that way. And the reason is there are, there are um, loopholes for real estate agents that will save them self-employment tax, all are independent contractors, and if they're making north of $75,000 of commissions, there's three to $5,000 they're throwing away, giving to the government that they don't need to do just because they've chosen to just do nothing. Well, so there's probably a lot of people out there leaving money on the table. Absolutely. When it comes tax time. There is another issue um, that's recently come up in the non-real estate world. If you're, in it, if you're incorporated, God forbid this ever happens, but if there are problems with your business that you need to walk away, you're not having to file personal bankruptcy. It's only that business that would have to do that, or you may be able to walk away depending on what your attorney says. So you, you limit the exposure to your personal assets if you make those kinds of choices. And what I'm taking away from this, too, is that you really have to sit down with your CPA and real estate lawyer to figure out um, how to really set up. It's really a team concept. It really situation. should be both. Yeah. Great information, Paul. And if you'd like to reach out to Paul Dion directly, you can do so by going to pauldioncpa.com. And remember, we have more real estate tips right here below on boston.com. Tune into Radio BDC Sunday mornings at 7 to hear Chris Devin and his guest list of top-notch local real estate professionals deliver the timely truths of the greater Boston real estate market.